everybody, Skylar here. And in this video, I wanna go over the drama between the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Satoshi vision. There's a lot of confusion going on around there, a lot of drama, uh, you know, people, if you ask Bitcoin Satoshi vision people, they'll say that's a real Bitcoin. If you were to ask Bitcoin Cash diehards, they'll say that's a real Bitcoin. If you were to ask Bitcoin maximalists, they'll say that's a real Bitcoin. And, and for people that are new to this space, it gets really confusing. So that's kind of what I wanna talk about in this video. Um, and and uh, this is not really for people that are, my channel is not really for people that have been in the industry for a long time and understands this stuff. This, that my channel, one of the big reasons why I made this channel is to help out people that have no idea what the heck's going on in this industry. I mean, I know when I first got involved in it, I'm not a, I'm not a coder, I'm not, a, I'm not in the financial industry, you know, although I want to now because I've learned about kind of how a lot of money works. But at any rate, um, a lot of it went over my head and even still I've been in it in years and there's a lot of confusing stuff and it takes me a long time to research things and not a lot of people have that time to do that. So a lot of people just don't get involved. And so my channel is really there to help you out. And by the way, every single like and subscribe absolutely goes a long way because this channel goes straight to charity, straight, non straight to nonprofit. I never take a single penny. Um, so every single like, subscribe, and especially comment down below means a lot. If you have any questions whatsoever, write a comment. I'll, I'll answer right away. If you look at any of my videos, I've commented pretty much on every single one of them. Um, and I normally do it within 24 hours, uh, if not sooner. So I really appreciate everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented, all that sort of stuff. Sorry I'm talking so fast. I, I, I make these videos that are like 20 or 30 minutes long and I hate it. And so I'm trying to make this one under 10 minutes. Um, but this is like my 15th time making it and the shortest I've made it is 18 minutes. So we'll see. Uh, I just need to not embellish on a lot of stuff, but essentially let's rewind time a little bit um, and let's talk about how Bitcoin got started. So right now there's like 8,000 companies out there, uh, maybe more, maybe less. And there's like two, three, 4,000 companies that are on multiple exchanges that you can actually get on an exchange and buy the coin and actually hold it and pay money for it. Um, a lot of these other coins you have to mine and you have to help process the transactions, which I'm not going to go into in this video, but uh, at any rate, all of those companies, all those coins, every coin you've ever heard of in the cryptocurrency space is a break off of Bitcoin. Um, and, and what that essentially means, a fork, they call it forking a, a coin, is uh, is people just change uh, the code a little bit. And now that code isn't the, the standard Bitcoin code. It's something a little bit differently. So then they call that project something else. And like, I think it should, I think this, this I want to make this improvement. I want to make this change. And then all of a sudden it's something else, right? So... Uh, essentially, uh, so let's rewind time a little bit back to 2009. 2009, that's when the original white paper um, was created of Bitcoin, in which, and all a white paper is, is essentially it was a piece of paper where somebody said, I think Bitcoin should, uh, or I, I've created a, a software. That's really all it is, a software. I've created this way that we can um, make peer-to-peer -peer payments, right? I can transact with you, you can transact with me, nobody can take your money. Uh, we can minimize these fees and we can get rid of third party and we can make everything more honest and open. Everything's on this open network. And so this guy created this way to create a currency and that's all Bitcoin is, is a currency. I mean, it's a lot more, but it got launched as a currency. Um, that's why all these breakoffs, because you know the technology can do so much more. But uh, so he created this way to do this and um, and he got he put it under the name Satoshi Nakamoto, which isn't his real name. Uh, he, he, she, they group. No one really knows who the Satoshi Nakamoto is, but essentially, uh, th this this random person. It was all done online on forums. Uh, no one. It was no meetings. There's no people actually meeting up or anything like that. But uh, so, at 2009, he launched this, and then he got a bunch of his you know forum buddies and friends that he knew online to help uh, expand the project. And be like, what do you think about this? Uh, should we change code here and there? And slowly they changed code, they've made improvements, and they've been doing that over the past 11 years. So back in 2011, uh, this guy by the name of David Kleinman, uh, he ended up going to the CIA to talk to him because they wanted to talk to him about what Bitcoin was back then. Um, and ever since uh, Dave Kleinman did that, the Satoshi Nakamoto name disappeared off the web and we've never seen him since. Now there's a lot of people claiming they are the original creator or they know who the original creator is, but there hasn't really been any, any definitive proof. So essentially, um, uh, that's kind of the backstory of, of where Bitcoin came from. And now we're in this, now it's, you know, uh, since 2011, right? We're like eight years, nine years into it. And uh, nine, 10, depends on when you watch this video, right? Um, into uh, this Bitcoin project and it has grown way bigger than it was back in 2011. 
and a lot of people uh, don't really understand how that code works or, or, you know, or don't understand like, well, how should we make these changes? What's the best way? And the original creator is, is gone. And so uh, everybody has their opinions and, and how the code should work and stuff. So, um, so that's where this, these forks, these two forks I'm going to talk about came from. Uh, back in 2017, this guy by the name of Roger Ver, who was an original angel investor into Bitcoin, he saw vi he saw the vision before a lot of people did. He invested a lot of money into that vision. Not only did he believe in it, but he actually put his money where his mouth was, right? And invested a lot of money into building this industry. People can hate on him all he all they want, uh, but he absolutely helped this industry grow in the beginning days. Um, and uh, and uh, at any rate, so in 2017. Uh, he ended up saying, hey, you know what? I think that Bitcoin should go this direction. And a lot of people did not agree with him. And, and the majority actually didn't agree with him. So when he changed the code eventually, uh, a big chunk of the Bitcoin network and the people helping the, the you know mine the, the, the transactions and help run the network, they broke off and then they started doing Bitcoin Cash. And so um, a lot of people... Now, a lot of people argue the reason why I, I'm saying Bitcoin Cash is the original Bitcoin is because I believe, you know, we believe or whatever, that, uh, that the original creator, this was the vision he wanted and this is the way he wanted this coin to progress, right? Um, I kind of don't think it really matters what his original vision was. We have enough people working on a project now that I think the consensus of, you know, a million people are more powerful than one person's opinion. But that being said, uh, so a lot of the people that say Bitcoin Cash is the original Bitcoin, that's why they're saying that. They say, we believe this is how the code should go. Um, and the, the other people think that that's the way it should go, but they're wrong. I believe it's this way. And so uh, now there's a lot of scammy and junky people that are trying to manipulate the prices so they can make that, you know, Bitcoin Cash right, you know, right now, as recording this, is only a couple hundred bucks. Well, what if it went from a couple hundred to where Bitcoin's at right now at 9,000? That's a huge gain and you can make a lot of money. And so there's a lot of like dishonest reasons why people would want to promote it. But um, but a lot of people also say because they think that's the original uh, vision of Satoshi. Now, in 2017, um, Craig Wright, who, who has claimed uh, he is Satoshi, so if you, uh, if anyone knows who Craig Wright is, he, he, he's been claiming for oh, about a year and a half now, since late 2017, two years, geez, it's a little over two years, wow, geez, it's been a while, that he is the original Satoshi, but he hasn't given definitive proof and a lot of people don't believe him. Uh, he's submitted a lot of documents that were uh, known later to be forges and he always has reasons why uh, if that is, he thinks, you know, people have hacked his computer, there's misunderstandings, he always has an excuse, right? But uh, but at any rate, uh, a lot of people don't like Craig Wright and they think he's a scammer and he's just trying to make a bunch of money. And <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, so anyways, um, so Craig Wright ended up in 2018, he broke off and essentially forked the Bitcoin Cash software and changed the software a little bit. And now there's a Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, which all three of them are claiming this is the this is the correct way of running the Bitcoin. And so I don't care that the majority agrees with that way. They're wrong. Uh, and Craig Wright, he says he's Satoshi. So he's like, this is my vision. This is the way I wanted it to go. And uh, and just a lot of people don't believe him and, and some people do. And so uh, that's kind of the drama that's going on right now. Um, and, and who knows what's right, what's wrong. I personally believe that Whoever has the largest network, whoever has the largest consensus, uh, that that's always going to be the Bitcoin. Um, that's always going to be Bitcoin. Now, I also believe, what if 30% of the people think that this is the right way, and I agree with those 30%, I'm going to go with those 30%, but I'm not going to call that Bitcoin. I'm fine to call that Bitcoin, uh, you know, 2.0 or whatever they want to call it, right? So, um but people just want to hold that original, I am the original Bitcoin name. And it's just uh, created a lot of drama. And, uh, and, and yeah, so that's kind of where everybody's at. And I'm hoping I'm not going to get a ton of down thumbs on this video because there's a lot of people that are really aggressive one way or another. And just because I'm, a, I'm the BTC crowd and, and doesn't mean I, I think that Bitcoin Cash is a fraud or anything like that. Or, you know, uh, I, I don't think Craig Wright is Satoshi. I think uh, he could have proved it so many different ways. And he just hasn't yet. And he's been proven to be a fool. Like he's had two uh, 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 judges straight out call him a fraud. And uh, and it's just like, you know, why can't you, you know, why can't you actually show 
there's so many different ways you can show who you are, right? But but it's just really messy and just causes a lot of drama and a lot of confusion in the industry. So that's kind of my spiel. I can't believe I've done it under 10 minutes. Um, there's so much more I want to say about that, but I'm gonna hold back. Uh, uh, but yeah, so tell me what you think down below. Do you think, uh, you know, which do you think is the real Bitcoin? Why? Um, you know, let's please refrain from uh, you're an idiot. Bitcoin Satoshi vision is absolutely the real one. How can you not see that, you moron? Let's change that to, uh, I think you're wrong. And, and this is why I think you're wrong. What do you think? I like that kind of conversation, right? Um, it's less aggressive and it's less like I'm right, you're wrong. Nobody likes to be told they're wrong, right? So let's just keep it civil, right? But if you have any questions, write them down below. I'd super appreciate it. And again, anyone who's liked and subscribed me, I just hit over a thousand subscribers and holy moly, that's amazing to me. I super appreciate everybody um, who has done that. And if you like these kind of videos, I, I can make them quite a bit. I'll make them more and more. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I guess that's it. Um, super appreciate everybody watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I got in the